very much and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Williams now looking to throw on second down. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to throw, Williams. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. and. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And he'll get this up to about the 40. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Young toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Young. Incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he's not able to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh. 
And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now Williams to throw on second down. Oh, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Here's Williams on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Williams throwing on first down. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Not met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw on second down. Williams. Oh, that is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So give him three on that drive. And, you know, normally you'd say, well, take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder. A field goal is going to be enough because, as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The 
The Carolina offense about ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. First down, Young. He'll find Thielen working in the middle. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. They find some open field here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 88 yards on the ground for Hubbard is that last run of first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. On the kick. No, Donald, It's out. It's loose. And that one never got off the ground. He's going to be stopped up well behind the line of scrimmage. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys in bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Young. Touch him down, but not before he gets the first. That gain on third down, good for 28. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Young off the play fake. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Young will set to throw. Yeah, we're going into the hands of Thielen complete. They wind up getting just a yard. And it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. So Young will head to the sideline, and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that'll bring him back within four. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them.
The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go and they kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. On the option to give to Swift here. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Now a throw here, hold in. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? Not like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Williams now on first down. That is incomplete. It sort of looks like they stopped some fighting them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and 10. He's going to try and take off with it. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. That puts him in an excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. How about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. On the touchdown there, and they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up the secondary all game long, and this time that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because 
when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from this head coach. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and seven. Throwing. Young. And he floated one. Adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Young to throw it. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point of the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this guy will call some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on the punt for Carolina. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Onto the field now come the Bears. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Williams throw there complete to Allen. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. 
Derek Brown in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll run a draw now with Hubbard. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Kevin Byard up to make the tackle. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. And the slot man goes in motion left. Now a fake on the jet sweep. And they'll instead run up the middle. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes. But they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here. As there he goes, left side. There's a nice move. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Hubbard is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. He's having a big game running the football, but that will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? They'll try to throw down. Young being chased out. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. Holding offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? A crucial penalty there as the hold backs them up for another second and goal. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. That throw by Young incomplete. Well, it's been a tough game for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. 
So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. From the right hash here should be an easy one. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. And there's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff and it's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's brought down, getting this one off to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. And let's close this one out. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That play could never get started thanks to the defensive effort of Shaq Thompson. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Bears on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and six. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. They're able to work this to the 25 before it's all set and down. First down and then some, 36 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? To throw on second down. Williams. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Now Williams off the bootleg. Caught right side, it's Lewis. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he... Open man, he finds Kamal. Touchdown, Chicago. 
It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. turn as he'll get this to about the 23. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And Young's throw there incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. He tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate just fell incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Back to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. To throw, Young. That is caught, and he'll be taken down before they work it across midfield. That's a first down and then some, a 32-yard pickup. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now Young. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 27-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? From the red zone now, Young. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Johnson was the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Oh, 
Young off the bootleg. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Now Young. Forced out to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. They'll run here with Hubbard. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Chuba Hubbard taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers get a bit closer. So this now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. As this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. A 10-play drive that time. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And they will ring them down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Well, that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And getting this chest shy of midfield and spotted at the 49. And that will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him, take someone who has the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Back to throw, Williams. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Here's Williams looking to throw on second down. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Well, it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. 
Williams to throw on third down. And Allen's got it! And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. On to stop that time, it was Josie Jewell. And the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Williams now to throw on second down. When you're running the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there's no space available and incompletion as a result. The Bears on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and nine. Looking to throw. Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 27-yard line. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead he'll swim. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here comes third down at seven. Once again, it's Swift. Now he is going to have the Bears first, and that should be the capper. And they will take a knee here. It's second and goal back to the eight yard line now. Here's a handoff to Swift. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for your kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team.
Well, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.